One of the challenges of reality creation is to see thoughts as thoughts. One of the ways I help students recognize thoughts as thoughts is through the mimicking technique. I make them mimic or play out their thoughts. And sometimes we use little hand puppets for that. In fact, it's even better with hand puppets, except I don't have any around me now. They're in my uh, seminar room. So, <clears throat> Your head is full of voices. <laughs> you hear voices, not in a mentally ill way, but in a thought way. Okay, it's, there's the voice of the inner self-critic that's always uh, putting you down. There's the desiring voice, I wish this, I want this, I want this. There's the dreamer's voice, there's the... Uh, a resistant voice, there's the contradictory voice, there's the managing voice, and behind all of these voices is you, the boss. You are the boss, and you want to learn to tame your mind, just like you would tame a wild horse. You'd want to rein in those thoughts so that you find out it's not a voice, it's a choice. Okay, somewhere within there is the real you, pure, aware, will, source, higher self, whatever you want to call it. Uh, discovery of this true self, this boss, is easier uh, if you can view all of these thoughts as thoughts from an outside perspective. And in fact, mimicking them is one of the best ways to do so. Me, 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 and nye, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Okay? Uh, one of the ways in which I mimic thoughts and beliefs and subconscious programs is in conjunction with or in the context of an intention. So I'd have somebody say their intention. For example, uh, I'll be a student for a moment. Well, it is my intention to uh, find a harmonious relationship with the right partner. And I'd have them talk about their intention for a while and then Somewhere along the line, I'd interrupt them and ask them if there's contrary thoughts, doubts, or contrary voices to that, and I'd have them mimic those, okay? Yes, but I've been alone for such a long time. You see how I'm mimicking? I'm not just stating it as a fact. I'm actually acting it, mocking it, okay? It's a mockery. It's an exaggeration. But I've been alone for such a long time. All the right partners are already given away. Uh, actually, I prefer to, to, to be alone. Okay, so th there's, there's, you have an intention, you have a goal, and any voice that is in contradiction to that, you mimic it. And that's how you can view thoughts as thoughts from the outside. And after a while, I'll, ha I'll have the person do that. I'll take them back and shift them back to their actual intention and have them talk about their intention again for a while. Why? Well, you don't want to get lost. You don't want to get stuck in uh, doubts. You don't want to give them too much attention, just enough attention to mock them, just enough attention to see them from an outside perspective because if you can see them from outside, you're no longer identified with them. You no longer see through them. You see at them.
big, big difference, okay? So one of the biggest problems of human nature is that they're walking around seeing everything through the glasses, through the filter, through the belief, instead of looking, taking off the glasses and looking at it from the outside. So then you talk about the intention some more. Well, um, I'm really ready to find the right partner. I'm really ready to make a difference. I've uh, cleaned up my place and um, I'm working on myself again and I'm ready, you know, I'm, I'm open for that. And I do know um, somebody I'm actually interested in and I wouldn't mind if that were my partner. So they'll talk and talk like that for a while along those lines, and then I'll have them mimic counter thoughts, counter intentions as we call them. And by the way, these counter intentions were created by you. Okay? Everything uh, that you don't like about yourself and don't like about your thoughts, you originally liked. That may sound crazy or bizarre. But uh, there was a time you were so unconscious and at such a level that you desired these so-called negative things. And that's something you become aware of at advanced stages of reality creation practice. So then you'd mimic again. Um, I'm just so lonely. I'm just so lonely. I don't know what to do. I'm just so lonely all the time. Um, you can even uh, take in different positions, you know, as you play different characters. You play these uh, doubts as different characters. Well, uh, my last relationship sucked, so uh, I'd rather just be alone, you know. Much more happy alone. Rather just be alone. And those are just voices this person has within them, you know. It might be another character. Mm, yeah, okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If somebody comes, that's fine. I just don't want to put any effort into it. It's so exhausting to go out and look for someone, you know? And then I interrupt that before it gets out of hand, before they go too deeply into doubt, and I'd have them talk about their intention again for a while and get really into the intention, always giving about three times as much attention to the goal than to the doubts. The doubts are done quickly, they're acted out, you have fun with them. By having fun with them as an actor, as a mimicker, uh, you release the, the stuckness, the resistance. You see, it's the uh, seriousness with which you take your problems seriously that actually keeps them stuck. And that could be applied to any goal, really. The goal could be, well, I finally want to be financially free, you know, and then there's a bunch of voices objecting to that, or having a different opinion to that, or having not even doubts, often sometimes just commentary, you know. I'd like to be financially free, and then there's the commentary, the running commentary. Um, well, do you really need that? You know, and you might not recognize that as a doubt, but in, in a way, it's 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 really contradictory, you know. If you, either you want it or you don't want it. Uh, if there's this voice here. Uh, sometimes the uh, interior, the, the the mind, the the thoughts and the beliefs, are not clear. That is, you can't verbalize them. You can't mimic them or act them out. In this case, you can just uh, mock them in the following way. You know, like. Because it's just some kind of vague. Or you might feel a, a doubt as a feeling in the body by which you can mimic or act that out. As in. Or whatever comes to mind. Okay? The idea is to uh, be an actor. The idea is to have fun with your thoughts so that you can see your thoughts as thoughts and not the intentions of the boss. 
So this technique and variations thereof have been used in many schools of meditation and psychiatry and religion. Some people use puppets, some people use uh, clay figurines where they play against each other. Some people do it in the form of meditation where they uh, focus on the main thought and then integrate thoughts around it. So there's many ways to do this, but all have a common denominator, which is to see thoughts as thoughts, to see thoughts as thoughts, to see thoughts as thoughts. And I've been saying that for decades now, um, because it's so critical, so important. When you can see your thoughts as thoughts, they're no longer realities, they're just thoughts. That's why one of my favorite sayings in my seminars is, it's just a thought. Okay, somebody could be telling me entire novels, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, blah, that's another good way to mimic your thoughts. If you can't verbalize them, you just say blah, 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 because that's exactly what it is. So they'll be telling me their stories and talking and talking, and my only response might be, well, that's just the thought, isn't it? And then they realize, well, that entire problem I have, in the now, it's just a thought, indeed. You know, in the now, there often are no problems, just in case you haven't noticed. My name is Fred Dotson. Have a nice day.